day. Welcome to another video presentation on grade 8 science. For today's lesson, we are going to track the path of tropical cyclones. This is still under the concept of understanding typhoon. How do we track tropical cyclones? What are the things we need in order to track them? Let us start with the things that we need. We need a map, which will serve as our coordinate plane. It is where we are going to plot the positions of the tropical cyclone in a specific day or time. Note that our map must have both the longitudes and latitudes. And of course, we need a tracking data. These data are usually provided to us by the weather satellites positioned in outer space. For you to easily understand this concept, please bear in mind the following important words. Map A map is a diagram or a diagrammatic representation of land and sea. A map usually contains a latitude and a longitude. Latitude is an imaginary horizontal line on the map, while longitude is an imaginary vertical line on the map. Coordinate is usually a pair of numbers used to indicate the position of a point on a plane. Philippine Area of Responsibility, or PAR, is an imaginary area in the northwestern Pacific where PAGASA constantly monitors the weather occurrences such as tropical cyclones. We have here a map. This is actually the map of the Philippines. This map shows the islands of the Philippines, including its neighboring territories and bodies of water surrounding the archipelago. The map also shows the imaginary lines, which are the latitudes and longitudes. The latitude is an imaginary line shown here in green horizontal lines. Note that each line is a measure of degree, shown here as numbers. These numbers are found on the left or right side of maps. Next, we have the longitudes, shown here as red vertical lines. Note that each line is a measure of degree, shown here as numbers. These numbers are found on the top or bottom of maps. Lastly, we have the coordinates. A coordinate is usually a pair of numbers which denotes a single or specific position on a plane or map. We have here examples of coordinates. We have five coordinates. 8, 115, 6, 116, 7, 118, 4, 118, and 8, 120. Each pair of number is a coordinate. This refers to one latitude and one longitude. Latitudes are written first as this also denotes the x-axis in a partition plane, followed by the longitude, which is the y-axis. And wherever the longitude and latitude meets, is the position or location referred to by that coordinate. Let us take the first coordinate as an example. It is coordinate 8, 115. This means we are going to locate the point or position where latitude 8 and longitude 115 meet. Do you know the correct answer? The correct answer is... Did you get the correct position? Don't worry if you got it wrong. Always bear in mind that nobody is perfect and that having mistakes is part of the process of learning. And if you got the correct answer and the correct position, well done! Let us try the next coordinate, 6, 116. 
This means latitude 6 and longitude 116. Where do they meet? Correct. The answer is... Let us proceed to example number 3. Coordinate 7, 118. This means latitude 7 and longitude 118. Where do they meet? Correct. The answer is... Example number 4 is coordinate 4, 118. This means latitude 4 and longitude 118. Where do they meet? Correct. The answer is... And finally, coordinate number 5, 8, 120. This means latitude 8 and longitude 120. Where do they meet? Correct. The answer is... Great job! Thank you for trying. It is better to try than not at all. You may repeat the video if you did not understand how the points were located. If you do, you may proceed. You are now ready to try and plot the different points or location using coordinates as tracking data. Please do try using these six special coordinates. You may pause the video as you do the activity. Are you finished plotting the seven coordinates which corresponds to seven points or locations on the map? Let us view now the answers. Great job! You are really now on your way to becoming a meteorologist. Do you know what a meteorologist is? Yes, they are those people who have great knowledge of how weather works, as they are the ones who study the weather itself. Why don't we try and connect the dots? Great job, you guys! You created a special polygon with six sides known as a hexagon. But this hexagon is not an ordinary hexagon, as it is the Philippine Area of Responsibility or PAR. This is an area in the northwestern Pacific designated to the Philippine Atmospheric. Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration or PAGASA to constantly monitor weather occurrences such as tropical cyclones. You are now ready to track the actual path of a tropical cyclone. Determine when it entered the park, where it will most likely hit, and when it will leave the park. This is a copy of your activity sheet where you are going to plot the points for activity number two, tracking the tropical cyclone. At the back is also the same copy on which you are going to plot the points found in your product output guide or book, which will be given out soon. Please secure a, a photocopy of this for future use. We have here another test of plotting the coordinates. This time, you are going to plot or track the path taken by a tropical cyclone. You may call it anything you want. You are given 8 coordinates. Each coordinate corresponds to a location of the tropical cyclone at a certain day and time. Please do try to test yourself to be able to learn by heart is one of the most essential learning competencies for the second grading period. You may pause this video while you do the task. Please take your time. 
are done? Let us take a look at the answers. Great job! Please give yourself a resounding applause. Let us now try to connect the dots to see better the path our tropical cyclone took as it crossed the Philippines. You now have a clear view of the path our tropical cyclone took from October 15 at 12 midnight until October 18 also at 12 midnight. Let us put a photo of our mini tropical cyclone along the map. This was our first position. This is where our tropical cyclone was formed or first spotted. It was on October 15 at 12 midnight. On that same day, at around 6 in the morning, it was found at this location. By that very same day, at around 12 noon, our tropical cyclone have already entered the bar. Take note that once a tropical cyclone has entered the bar, Pag-asa will give it a local name and will monitor it more closely than when it was outside the bar. This is the position of the tropical cyclone on the 15th of October at around 6 in the evening. Take note that it is right next to Summer Island, so it is most likely that it will hit landfall by this time. At 16th of October, at around 12 midnight, our tropical cyclone crossed the sea of Samar and hit another landmass, the Luzon Island, near Albay. This will be its second landfall. On October 16, at 12 noon, the tropical cyclone have crossed Luzon Island and is now back in the water specifically the Manila Bay. On the 17th of October, at 6 in the afternoon, it was seen on the Philippine Sea, still close to the island of Luzon. On the 18th of October, at 12 midnight, it was seen that the tropical cyclone already left the bar and on the water of the South China Sea, possibly heading to mainland China. So that is how to track the path of a tropical cyclone, be it tropical depression, tropical storm, a typhoon, or a super typhoon. You were able to track it from the start to the end. Please do try to remember the following points in our lesson. Things to remember. First, in plotting or tracking the path of a tropical cyclone, you need a map and a tracking data. You must also know how to plot coordinates using the latitude and the longitude. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.